It's there. Voyager 2 has reached Saturn after four years in space. It got there just a bit early, 2.7 seconds early to be exact, after a flight of a billion and a quarter miles. Voyager's journey began on the fifth smallest planet in our solar system, Earth. Two years later, it had reached the largest planet, Jupiter. And like any good traveler, it took pictures, pictures of never before seen moons and huge red spots. Getting to Saturn right on target, less than 63,000 miles above the second largest planet, has been compared to a golfer making a 500 mile putt. But Voyager did it with precision and its cameras brought beauty to the cold ball of gases surrounded by icy rings the sixth planet out from our sun. Our guide through the icy rings, strange moons, and storm-whipped planet, astronomer Carl Sagan, is standing by in JPL's Picture Control Center. Carl, tell us about the latest, will you? Uh, hi, Ted. Well, uh, the uh, latest is that uh, we have just made the closest approach to uh, Saturn. Uh, the spacecraft is uh, now recording data, which it will send back to us. Uh, at uh, a later time. There's a whole suite of observations to be made after we pass Saturn. There are moons that will uh, be observed close up. For example, Enceladus is a moon which in the next few hours we will have the closest approach to. Um, now, if uh, we want to put this mission in a historical context, we have to imagine our ancestors who looked up at the sky, saw the constellations of distant stars, and then a handful of small objects that wandered with respect to the distant stars. They were called planets. Here is Galileo showing a uh, reluctant clergyman his uh, observations of Jupiter. The uh, development of the telescope permitted us for the first time to see what the planets really were like. Here, Galileo saw, well, just a moment ago, Galileo was, we see a Galileo picture of what he thought he says, what he thought he saw, uh, a planet with ears, and uh, later Christian Huygens, a Dutch astronomer, uh, found that the planet was surrounded by a disk which nowhere touched it. The next picture is a ground-based photograph, uh, which shows the rings, sort of the best kind of picture before uh, Voyager approached the Saturn system. Today, the best picture is something like this. Uh, a picture released today in false color in which we can see some of the thousands of small ringlets which surround the planet, a kind of miniature solar system composed of billions of orbiting chunks of ice in size ranging from glaciers to down to uh, particles of smoke. Carl, uh, let, me, let me interrupt with a question that, that lets me be as ignorant as I am on this subject. You, you clearly believe, you know that you have made a quantum leap and you have just taken us through that quantum leap, but why? The pictures don't look all that different. Well, the, the picture we just saw in which there were huge numbers of, uh, of rings is quite different from the picture before that, a typical ground-based photograph, which uh, shows uh, maybe two or three rings the existence of a thousand separate rings which are produced by satellites uh, near and in the rings we think is uh, indeed a quantum leap in our understanding that doesn't mean we understand why the rings have the configuration they do but uh, when all that is pieced together we will understand how a central mass mass with a flat disk around it works that's of importance because when the solar system formed, there was a central mass, the sun, with a flat disk, the solar nebula, which later became the planets. But also, it's an important uh, testing ground for our understanding of the galaxy. The whole Milky Way, a collection of hundreds of billions of stars, has a central mass, the core of the galaxy, and a flat disk, the spiral arms. So we have in our backyard uh, a natural laboratory for learning about the origin of the solar system and the nature of the galaxy in which we inhabit. It's a remarkable accomplishment. All right, Carl, quite, quite literally, during this period of, of hours, couple of hours now, Voyager is coming, has come as close to Saturn as it ever will, mm -hmm. and as perhaps any other spacecraft will for many years to come. 
Well, I hope not, but you may be right. All right. What of the pictures that are coming in right now? What what of the what of the newest? What are you what are you finding even in these couple of hours? Well, here's a uh, a sampling of uh, some of the recent pictures, just to give a kind of uh, feel of uh, of where we are. For example, uh, if uh, we look at this picture, we see one of the successful searches for new satellites. There are some 10 or 12 new moons of Saturn, which have either been discovered by Voyager or discovered during the period of the Voyager uh, encounter uh, by ground-based telescopes. Uh, we've more than doubled the number of moons that we know about uh, on Saturn. <clears throat> Here is Enceladus, a remarkable world which has the density of ice. The whole place is uh, one solid lump of ice. What is it, Carl, related to Saturn? It's, it's one of Saturn's it's moons? It's one of Saturn's moons. It's uh, the, one of the closer in, the second closest uh, of the uh, uh, large moons. And in the outer solar system, because the temperatures are so low, ice is very stable. This is an enormous snowball, hundreds of miles across, uh, the size of a world and we can faintly see impact craters which have probably uh, melted the ground when they hit and uh, deform and disappear. Are it those, is a world totally different from anything we've seen before. Are those four black dots some those, of our marking dots yeah, that you those have? Are, those are fiducial markers on the television uh, screen and, and uh, not markings put on Enceladus. Uh, not as interesting if, as, as if they were on Enceladus. Uh, in fact, you will see in many of the pictures those uh, fiducial markings called Rousseau's. Here is a lovely image of Titan uh, backlit uh, by the sun, which is off uh, to the left, and you can see the ring around it which represents light which has been refracted through the atmosphere of Titan, an atmosphere filled with organic molecules that are raining down on the surface, uh, a surface that we have never seen. To understand the nature of that surface, probably loaded with hundreds of meter column of uh, organic molecules will require a, uh, some other mission in some other epoch. When did these pictures come in, Carl? All within the, the past hour or so? No, these are uh, within the last uh, 12 hours or so as we zipped through a wide range of, uh, of moons and, of course, the rings and Saturn itself. Um, here is uh, a view of a... Uh, of an astonishing uh, icy kind of moon called Tethys. You can see this enormous valley, which uh, runs uh, essentially half the length of the, uh, of the object, uh, which uh, 